polyvinylidinofluoride, or polyvinylidinodifluoride is a highly non-reactive and pure thermoplastic fluoropolymer produced by the polymerization of vinylidinodifluoride. PVDF is a specialty plastic material in the fluoropolymer family. It is used generally in applications requiring the highest purity, strength, and resistance to solvents, acids, bases and heat and low smoke generation during a fire event. Compared to other fluoropolymers, it has an easier melt process because of its relatively low melting point of around 177 degrees Celsius. It has a low density compared to the other fluoropolymers. It is available as piping products, sheet, tubing, films, plate and an insulator for premium wire. It can be injected, molded or welded and is commonly used in the chemical, semiconductor, medical and defense industries, as well as in lithium-ion batteries. It is also available as a cross-linked closed-cell foam, used increasingly in aviation and aerospace applications. A fine powder grade, Kina 500 PVDF or HYLAR 5000 PVDF, is also used as the principal ingredient of high-end paints for metals. These PVDF paints have extremely good gloss and color retention, and they are in use on many prominent buildings around the world, e.g., the Petronas Towers in Malaysia and Taipei 101 in Taiwan, as well as on commercial and residential metal roofing. PVDF membranes are used for western blots for immobilization of proteins, due to its non-specific affinity for amino acids. Names PVDF is sold under a variety of brand names including KF, Hylof, Kinner and Solif. Properties In 1969, strong piezoelectricity was observed in PVDF, with the piezoelectric coefficient of pulled thin films as large as 6 to 7 picocoulombs n, 10 times larger than that observed in any other polymer. PVDF has a glass transition temperature of about minus 35 degrees Celsius and is typically 50 to 60 percent crystalline. To give the material its piezoelectric properties, it is mechanically stretched to orient the molecular chains and then pulled under tension. PVDF exists in several forms alpha, beta, and gamma phases, depending on the chain conformations as transorgosh linkages. When polled, PVDF is a ferroelectric polymer exhibiting efficient piezoelectric and pyroelectric properties. These characteristics make it useful in sensor and battery applications. Thin films of PVDF are used in some newer thermal camera sensors. Unlike other popular piezoelectric materials, such as PZT, PVDF has a negative D33 value. Physically, this means that PVDF will compress instead of expand or vice versa when exposed to the same electric field. Processing PVDF may be synthesized from the gaseous VDF monomer via a free radical polymerization process. This may be followed by processes such as melt casting or processing from a solution. Langmuir or Blodgett films have also been made. In the case of solution-based processing, typical solvents used include dimethylformamide as well as the more volatile butanone. In aqueous emulsion polymerization, the fluorosurfactant of fluorononoic acid is used in an ion form as a processing aid by solubilizing monomers. For characterization of the molecular weight via gel permeation chromatography, solvents such as dimethyl sulfoxide or tetrahydrofuran may be used. Processed materials are typically in the non-piezoelectric alpha phase. The material must either be stretched or annealed to obtain the piezoelectric beta phase. The exception to this is for PVDF thin films. Residual stresses between thin films and the substrates on which they are processed are great enough to cause the beta phase to form. In order to obtain a piezoelectric response, the material must first be polled in a large electric field. Polling of the material typically requires an external field of above 30 MV per meter. Thick films must be heated during the polling process in order to achieve a large piezoelectric response. 
Thick films are usually heated to 70 to 100 degrees Celsius during the polling process. A quantitative defluorination process was described by mechanochemistry for safe eco-friendly PVDF waste processing. Copolymers Copolymers of PVDF are also used in piezoelectric and electrostrictive applications. One of the most commonly used copolymers is P, usually available in ratios of about 50 to 50 Wt% percent and 65 to 35 Wt%. Percent. Another one is P. They improve the piezoelectric response by improving the crystallinity of the material, while the copolymer's unit structures are less polar than that of pure PVDF. The copolymers typically have a much higher crystallinity. This results in a larger piezoelectric response. D33 values for P have been recorded to be as high as minus 38 picocoulombs N versus minus 33 picocoulombs N in pure PVDF. Terpolymers. Terpolymers of PVDF are the most promising one in terms of electromechanical induced strain. The most commonly used PVDF-based terpolymers are P and P. This real xor based ferroelectric terpolymer is produced by random incorporation of the bulky third monomer into the polymer chain of picopolymer, which is ferroelectric in nature. This random incorporation of CTFE in picopolymer disrupts the long-range ordering of the ferroelectric polar phase resulting in the formation of nanopolar domains. When electric field is applied, the disordered nanopolar domains change their conformation to all trans conformation which leads to large electrostrictive strain and high room temperature dielectric constant tilde 50 applications PVDF is commonly used as insulation on electrical wires because of its combination of flexibility low weight low thermal conductivity high chemical corrosion resistance and heat resistance most of the narrow 30-gauge wire used in wire wrap circuit assembly and printed circuit board rework is PVDF insulated. In this use the wire is generally referred to as Kinner wire from the trade name. The piezoelectric properties of PVDF are used to advantage to manufacture tactile sensor arrays, inexpensive strain gauges and lightweight audio transducers. Piezoelectric panels made of PVDF are used on the Venetia Berni student dust counter, a scientific instrument of the New Horizons space probe that measures dust density in the outer solar system. PVDF is the standard binder material used in the production of composite electrodes for lithium-ion batteries. 1 to 2 percent weight solution of PVDF dissolved in N-methyl 2 pyrolidone is mixed with an active lithium storage material such as graphite, silicon, tin, LICU-2, LIM-204, or LIFPO-4 and a conductive additive such as carbon black or carbon nanofibers. This slurry is cast onto a metallic current collector and the NMP is evaporated to form a composite or paste electrode. PVDF is used because it is chemically inert over the potential range used and does not react with the electrolyte or lithium. In the biomedical sciences PVDF is used in immunoblotting as an artificial membrane, usually with 0.22 or 0.45 micrometers pore sizes, on which proteins are transferred using electricity. PVDF membranes may be used in other biomedical applications as part of a membrane filtration device, often in the form of a syringe filter or wheel filter. The various properties of this material such as heat resistance, resistance to chemicals, corrosion and low protein binding properties make this material valuable in the biomedical sciences for preparation of medications as a sterilizing filter and as a filter to prepare samples for high performance liquid chromatography and other advanced analytical techniques in which small amounts of particulate can damage sensitive and expensive equipment. PVDF is used for specialty monofilament fishing lines so old as fluorocarbon replacements for nylon monofilament. 
Optical density is lower than nylon, which makes the line less discernible. The surface is harder, so it is more resistant to abrasion and sharp fish teeth. It is also denser than nylon, making it sink faster. PVDF transducers have the advantage of being dynamically more suitable for modal testing applications than semiconductor piezo-resistive transducers, and more compliant for structural integration than piezo-ceramic transducers. For those reasons, the use of PVDF active sensors is a keystone for the development of future structural health monitoring methods due to their low cost and compliance.